and welcome to Behind the Music for Daily Hope. I'm Kristen Holton Prouty, and we are continuing our journey through Lent, entering the fourth week. We're getting closer and closer to Easter, but still taking some time as we learn more about this passion of Christ, the time that he spent, especially that last week of his life on earth before the crucifixion. This week, the topic of the sermon is being deserted by friends. This is the story of Jesus praying and asking the disciples to pray with him, and they fall asleep. He goes back over and over and asks them, please. This is what he said in the gospel that we're reading this weekend. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. So we've all been overwhelmed. I don't know that any of us have been overwhelmed to the point of death. He was carrying the weight of all of the sins of the world. And all he wanted was his friends to be there to support him and pray with him. And, and they couldn't even stay awake for that. So I'm sure I can't even imagine what that must be like. There's a passion hymn that's translated, O oh man, thy grievous sin bemoan, O mensch bevine. And a German chorale, it was written in 1525 by a man named Hayden, and he wrote it in 23 verses of 12 lines each. Now that's long by any hymn standard, I believe. But in this, he set the whole story of the Passion of Christ in those verses, set it in a poetic form. And the, even the title that he gave it is quite long. He titled it, The Passion or the Suffering of Jesus Christ rendered in hymnic form in the melody of the 119th Psalm, and then quoted the name of the psalm tune that he was using to write it to. And so here we have 23 verses in poetic form telling the story of Jesus. I'm only gonna read you the verses that apply to what we're learning about this weekend, but if you'd like to go online and look it up, you can read all 23 verses. Oh man, thy grievous sin bemoan, whence from his father's bosom flown, to earth came Christ, our Savior. They on the Mount of Olives prayed, with fear and trembling them he bade, oh, pray with watchful labor. A stone's throw hence did he depart, pray to his Father from his heart, O oh, Father, in thy favor grant that this cup may pass from me. All things are possible with thee, yet what thou wilt be keeping. Even so he prayed three times the same, as oft as back to them he came, he found them quiet sleeping. He spake, sleep ye in my distress, enough the hour on us doth press. So there's the story in poetic form. Johann Sebastian Bach took this hymn, it was Lutheran Chorale that he knew of course, and he said it. Bach wrote this collection of small organ works called the Orgelbuchlein, and they're divided into the different seasons of the liturgical year. And this one, O Mensch Bewein, he put into the Passion part because it's a, a Passion hymn. And he wrote it in this ornamented chorale. So kind of that, that angst and that pain and that sorrow that Jesus was feeling, he uses dissonance and chromaticism and just lots of ornamentation and things to just try and show the distress and the sorrow and the pain that Jesus was going through at that point in his life. And the French composer, Vidor, I'm sure you've heard of him at least through the Vidor Toccata, he wrote that he thought that this was the most powerful instrumental piece ever written. So the powerful words coming from an also very well known and prolific composer. It's one of my favorite pieces to play. It's one of the most gorgeous Lenten works, I think. Lots of ornamentation, listen to the dissonance. Just think about the sorrow and the pain that Jesus was going through. If you've ever been deserted by friends at a time where you needed that help, that's just, just a bit of a taste of what Jesus was going through at that time. So enjoy this beautiful and very sorrowful piece by Johann Sebastian Bach. And I'll be back with you again next week.